Okay, so today we know that we're going to be working on the standard of identifying quantitative and qualitative observations. And in order to do that, today we want to be able to define a qualitative observation, define a quantitative observation, and then make both qualitative and quantitative observations and distinguish between them. So, in order to get us activated, get us thinking about the topic, I want everyone to take a 15 to 20 second walk around the classroom, make an observation, and be able to bring that observation back to the class. You can make as many observations as you want, but be ready to share at least one of those observations. And while you're walking around, make sure you're on task and make sure that you're not distracting those who are around you. Now that we're back and that everyone has made their observations, can everyone share at least one observation? CJ, we'll have you go first. There were 15 green bags. 15 green bags. bags. Okay, and Imani, what did you find? Um, there were 32 desks. 32 desks? India, what did you find? Uh, the walls are painted white. The walls are painted white. Okay, so you guys all made an observation, and I've split the observations into two categories. Now, if you're thinking about your reading last night about quantitative and qualitative observations, what separates these two groups? CJ. Uh, on this side, they have numbers. Okay, so what does that mean about these kinds of observations? That they are quantitative. Quantitative observations, correct. So in your reading last night, we talked about quantitative observations and how they involve things that we can count or measure, so they'll often involve numbers or measurements. And then this side, what's different about these? Iman. Um, they're describing the walls. Using what? Uh, adjectives. Good. So white is an adjective. So that means that these are what kind of observations? Qualitative. Qualitative. Good. So qualitative observations use descriptors or adjectives. And we use those to describe things like um, what we taste, see, hear, feel. And then we would use um, quantitative observations to describe things like how big something is, how tall something is, how long something is. Um, so anything involving measuring, counting numbers, you can think of quantitative observations. So now that we've gone over qualitative and quantitative, um, I want you to start thinking about um, your rooms at home. So what is a qualitative observation you can make about your room at home, India? Um, it's blue. Your room is blue. Now, CJ, if you're thinking about your room, can you also make a quantitative observation about your room? Uh, I have three dressers in my room. Okay, so you have three dressers and your room is blue. So we're both thinking about a room, but we can make both quantitative and qualitative observations. So you should, you should be thinking about that. You can make a, the same, two different types of observations about the same object. And what we're going to use our quantitative and qualitative observations for are to inform our hypothesis at the end of the unit when we're um, trying to design our experiments. So keep that in mind as we're moving forward. The next thing we're going to do is break into small groups. And we want, I want you guys to take a notebook piece of paper and write an object, an observation you made about that object, and then classify it as quantitative or qualitative. And while you're doing that, I'm going to be walking around the room to give you feedback, but I also want you to turn that piece of paper in at the end of class so that I can hand you some feedback at the beginning of next class. Okay? Okay, so does everyone remember the learning through music sheet that we worked on yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use that again today. Tomorrow, if anyone wants to bring in a dance or a beat to the song so that we can learn it better, then you can bring that in. But today, we're just going to run through it together and see how we're doing learning it. So we're going to start. One, two, three. We can make an observation to hypothesize. Here are two kinds that you can try. We can make an observation qualitatively to describe the things we taste, feel, and see. Qualitative observations use adjectives. Here are some descriptors that you can give. Short, hard, loud, or green. Just make sure you're saying what you mean. We can also describe quantitatively. Think about this when you're measuring things. We can count, record, or tally something so that we can understand the essence of the thing. Either type of observation will help us see what questions can be asked by you and me. It's really good.